our live on both chicken connection. Oh, we are now live. Hi, everybody. Oh, can I have a bit? Oh, thank you. You know me so well. You know I was going to come big eatings. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Hi everybody, how are you? Hello. Oh, hi. So you're more full of food and you can't talk? Girl, it's just so good. Yeah, the cookie is very good. Oh, oh well. <coughs> Cookies in general are good. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tuesdays with Tricky where we take our mind off of what's going on outside the closet and bring you in here for a full hour of of fun frolicking. Delicious. Hello to Lons, Londas is from the Mauritius Islands. That's one of Jody's Mauritius. places. Mauritius. Mm -hmm. You love them. Mauritius Islands, I've never been, but I want to go. Oh, I thought you went. You no. always talk about it. Mauritius Islands, because mm -hmm. I want to go. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's nice. That's very nice. It that's, just sounds so like... It's a very you know. big travel. Really? Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not even sure where it is. All right, so guys, we have... Some exciting things for you today, but we're eating cookies. But anyway, we have a um, what is the wig called? This is from Naturally Laced, and she did the wig to suit my head. Oh, yeah, for going so far, you can't just say, Wow, it's a nice blow dry. Oh, yeah, for so Holland is here, two hairs longer. You Hi, Kimmy. You just want to be me, somebody. What? So, when I straighten my hair, I want to be you. Mm hmm. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> you see, people with curl America, people with curly hair can get their hair straight. People with straight hair can't get the type of curls that it's true. I have. It's true. Sure, so we can't get the jerrys. Yeah, but the jerrys, the jerrys are jerrying. Mm -hmm. Stevie can always blow dry her hair. It's true. It's but easy. Remy will never be able to have the type of curls Stevie and I have. No, no. Stevie love her curls too. See. Okay, guys, so we do have a, um, I don't want to say a surprise, it's not a surprise. A very special. We have a special guest today. So we are going to have Dr. Ray back on the show. We've had him on the show before where we were talking about uh, men's health. But today we're talking about something that really affects us women. It can affect guys too. We're talking about um, inconstance. And it's not just like, you know, because I'm so funny. So Tracy's always peeing herself. You know, there may generally be a little problem there. You know, I was wondering if you were going to just like point your finger at me today because when Dr. Ray contacted me to be like, hey, you know, um, I would love to come back on the show because he's very passionate about what he does. And he was like, you know, I think it's so important to have this awareness. Would you like to talk about men's health or women's health? Hair Jordan, women's, women's. And I knew you were just going to try and bring the fact up that I probably need a little mesh. Is, is, is. In your pum pum? Mm -hmm. Well, I have mesh in my boobs. So you can put a little mesh in your pum pum. Probably you just don't. want to be me. But I have mesh. You have mesh? You No, I don't want to. Why, why, why would I want to be you? Because you want to put mesh. I have pum -pum? mesh. Yeah. I have mesh in my breast. Mm -hmm. it's, what, it's called an internal bra. So the doc put in mesh right here to hold up my breast. Oh, okay. Cool. So you just want mesh? I want mesh. Thanks, because after the second baby, you jump and just a little wee wee. You know, it's just so like... Wait, well, let's get Dr. Ray okay, on Okay, let's here, get right? Dr. Ray on here, because we did see him he's here right, earlier. Yes, he's, he's here. See him right there. So let's talk about... Advanced Neurology Kingston, so that with Dr. Ray Gafor. Why when we jump, we pee? <laughs> wow just here you're breaking down breaking down information so that you guys can understand oh. that's who we are hi, hi dr ray hi guys What's welcome up? back to the show i'm not hearing thank you um, hi, you know, hi, Jody. Hi. hi thank you so much for stopping by because we know you're incredibly busy um and we're going to talk about something near and dear to Tracy's heart because when she jumps, she pees. Yeah, cool. You know? yeah. My little puppy here marking her territory. <laughs> yeah, let's just put it out there. I know, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about, in particular, women who they have um, 
had gone through childbirth and then they have these incontinence problems because that would be the major that's the major reason as to why women suffer from incontinence right yeah it's um so basically incontinence and urinary incontinence just means the inability to hello that means he turned on his volume okay hold on Doc, Doc froze up a little bit. So while Doc is frozen, we're drinking some frozen drinky booze mm -hmm. from Lady B. Um, I got endless dreams this time. Mine is a um, Moscato and tequila. It is... Where's the mm. list of ingredients? It's usually right here. Oh, see it right here? Okay. Oh, there Doc is back. Okay. So incontinence just means the inability to hold up the urine. It's fairly involuntary passage of urine. And um, there are two types. There's stress, which happens in, you know, if you laugh or you jump or you sneeze. And it can be a mild you know, drip or it can be a gush. And um, it can obviously be very embarrassing. It can be in convenient for you and women really suffer quite a lot from this it's not a cancer but it's um it really affects your quality of life it can happen during sex it can affect your physical activity your social interaction so people tend to shy away and you know they tend to not go out to parties and they tend to try to not laugh or cross your legs when they're, they're gonna sneeze and um, it affects your health because you're not exercising as much. So it really impacts many, many parts of a woman's being, her psychology, her, her fitness levels, and her social interactions. And for that reason, we do appreciate it for what it is. And unfortunately, a lot of women just live with it. And they think, OK, well, that's just a burden that I have for being a woman, for having had kids. As you said, one of the most common um, things that, that cause it is childbirth. Um, also obesity, diabetes, smoking, and just getting older. And women live with it in quiet. They may speak to a, you know, a sister or you know, someone that's close, but they don't talk about it to their doctors. They don't talk about it to their GPs, to their other, to, you know. So I have a question, Doc. I think you can own ideas off of it. They just think, I have to live with it. And that's the curse of being a woman. And I'll just live with it. But the truth is that there are many things that we can do to really affect that. You know? Oh, I think maybe, so if I, ha if I was to have this problem, right, maybe I would be afraid to talk about it because I feel like everything down there is connected. Does that mean if I have... um? You're in, how do you put in constant in constant incontinence incontinence does that yeah. mean that I have a big hole? No, 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 no. What it means most times is that the muscles that hold up the bladder and the urethra that's the tube that you actually weep out of the bladder stores urine, comes down from the kidneys and stores. And when it gets a certain volume, usually in a woman, about, you know, half of a small bottle of water, 250 mils, the signal goes to the brain to tell you you're full. And then when it's convenient, when you're in the bathroom, you're seated, the, mus the, the, the nerves from the brain go to the bladder to mm. contract, and then the muscle opens up. So you need two things to happen. The muscle must open, and the bladder must contract for you to go out. And in female incontinence, the muscle is a bit weak, mm. number one. And number two, the mechanism to the urethra, that also gets you the support muscles and the ligaments and the tissues. So if you liken it to a sibling side, like a kid's you know, side, um, that's a straight way from the bladder. Uh -huh. down to the outside and urine will just go straight down but nature has put muscles uh -huh. below the urethra to form a kind of a hump a up and a down so that it doesn't go straight down and as you get older that muscle and the support structures get loose uh -huh. and it goes straight like this will key go strengthen that muscle 
Kegels help a lot with that. But Kegels really are for people who have mild, moderate symptoms. So you wee a little bit, a drop or two, um, not often, certainly not every day. You may be changing a pad just because it's got a touch of urine on it, but the pad is not soaking wet. Right. It's not happening every time, you know, not every day, not every time you laugh or cough. Those are more severe symptoms. So Kegels are great for women who've got mild um, symptoms and mild bother from their symptoms, right? So, so speaking really, like Jody loves to tease me about this, but my problem isn't that I wee wee myself, it's that I have to wee wee very often. Like, does that mean that this is the beginning of this for me, so I should probably start, you know, saving up for the uh, surgery? Because it's, I, like, I will finish this and I have to go to the bathroom. Like, I have to go to the bathroom often. Is that something that is... Uh, so... Is it, is it because you feel the urge that you have to go or you're afraid that if the blood is too full and you're not first days or jump, then you'll wake it up? Yes, I'm, a, I, and I'm afraid to, I'm afraid because I feel, I feel like I'm, I'm, my bladder is full, but then I, I know that it's not full. Like I go to the bathroom and I squeeze and it's not full, but I do have that urge to go, but sometimes my bladder isn't full as yet. So there, that's a bit of a mixed situation. That's called urge and urgency and urge incontinence. Urge incontinence as opposed to stress incontinence is um, as, as involuntary loss of urine. And when you don't get there in time, so you have this overwhelming feeling like you've got to go, you've got to run to the toilet. And sometimes there's urgency. If you don't get there in time, you have a lot of sleep, it says urge incontinence. And that, there's a little bit more of a different end of the fish that we deal, you know, with lifestyle modification, change in diet, foods that we eat and drink, and all. Wait, hold on. Medication and even control. Um, whereas stress incontinent. Wait, Doc, we're kind of losing you know. Which is where more surgical issues. Wait, hold on, Don, Doc. We're kind of losing your, 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 your signal. Your, your, your signal is, is in and out. Yeah, it's a little choppy. And we don't want to miss any of the important information. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so you're saying there's a difference between this yeah. urge continent, urge incontinence and the stress incontinence where it's two different things. So the urge, urge, what I'm feeling, you're saying, I can manage that with my diet, I can manage that with, and I don't know the other things because you triple. So sometimes you need drugs, pharmacotherapy, um, you know, daily medication to help calm down on the bladder. In, weak, in, in layman's terms, it's called weak bladder. Mm -hmm. So that one can be controlled with, even Kegels can help a bit with that, but it's more pharmacological therapy and lifestyle. But a lot of people, and it sounds like you are one of these, these people, you have a mixture of two. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got, I, I can <laughs> and Scott is making comments as we speak. I just got... <laughs> You know, I'm just glad to be here for the people so that I, you know, just being so brave, telling my issues so other people... Should just keep running to the toilet? Yeah. yeah, but I'm glad I'm speaking with Dr. Ray because now I know that if I make an appointment with him that there's something I can actually do about it. Like, I don't have to, I don't have to sit here and suffer and think to myself that this is it. This is, this is, you know, like, I don't have to go to surgery. Because Absolutely. Yeah, it's not always surgery. And it, like I said, you may have a mixture. You may need two, two different treatment approaches. And a lot of women do have that. But what we do is assess which one is a more bothersome one. And then we'll address that. We'll, there's some tests we'll have to do, physical examination, um, see if we can demonstrate that leakage in the office and try and find out what's causing it. Is it a weakness of muscles? Mm -hmm. Is the urethra just moving around too much? And we may send you for an ultrasound. I often do a Euroflow in office, which is a test to measure the strength of the urine. So you sit in your, into a computer and it measures the strength of wow. the urine flow. And um, then, you know, if we're saying, if we're convinced that this is a stress incontinence, um, absolutely, For the first step would be Kegels, exercises. And a lot of times, 
it's difficult to train someone to do a Kegels exercise because it's really an internal muscle that you're yeah. not conscious that you're using. And so I will often send patients to, to a, a, a physiotherapist mm -hmm. who's training that. And they can use different instruments to help you identify that muscle and help you to self, you know, diagnose, are you doing the right thing? And um, so, so that's step number one. And then, you know, step number two really is to control any underlying issues you may have. You may be diabetic and it's poorly controlled, or, you know, you might be um, overweight and losing a bit of weight alone might help. Um, it could be an issue where you, you've got some hormonal, as you get older, and the body, the female body stops producing estrogen, we might look at some replacement therapies there. But the truth is that a lot of women just want a quick fix. And so what we do these days is called a, a urethral sling. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a bit of a mesh, as you were saying, the start of the, of the show. And um, we, um, look, we've got implants all the time. Men have penile implants, women have boob implants. And um, it's not just the cosmetics. It's for a situation like this to help with functional abnormalities. So it is an implant, you live with it, but it gets absorbed into the body. And so you don't know it's there. And it's really a 20 minute to 30 minute procedure. Oh. Um, it's okay. painless because you're asleep or you might get a spinal, mm -hmm. um, but you don't feel anything. And it's same day surgery. Um, it's almost a no-cut surgery. You get a, an incision or a cut about this big, one centimeter, mm -hmm. in the front of the vagina, and we insult, insert a mesh on either side of the urethra, close that up, and then once you're awake, you can go home. I've got a little model here to help you guys understand yes. what it is. And um, let me see if I can get this come down. Oh. He's gone. All right, we're going to call him back. But while we're calling back, Doc, he's going to sort, um, fix up his camera so we can see the model we are sipping on. And I got Tracy's drink from last week. I got the Pineapple Express that she would not share with me. I got Endless Dreams. It's a Moscato. It has tequila in there. Lychee, Jasmine. You know, I'm just really, really... This flavor is really good. I'm just really happy. Doc, we took an intermission. <laughs> Wow, wow. Uh, we're back with a whole bunch. Yeah. Right. So this is not obviously um, proportionate to real, you know, real sizes. Right. And it doesn't mean that your thing is too big, Jody. Right. It's really a matter of... It wasn't amazing. a question from me. It was to benefit Tracy. <laughs> uh-huh. Because <laughs> um, that so was a little open, know, open eh? Okay. This is the clitoris and the outer lips, the inner lips. Mm. And this is the urethra that you would pee out of. Right. Okay. And the bladder is situated up here. So what we do is we make a small cut. You can barely see it. Right in the front of the vagina. Right there. Oh! And then we put it right. So the sling goes, it's a hammock really. One uh -huh. side goes here on the inside. One side goes here on the inside and we close it up. So you don't see or feel anything. Right, right, and right. And it lifts up the urethra here, lifts it up mm -hmm. and gives it a bit of... And um, that's, that's lifelong? The sling will last? It doesn't dissolve? It doesn't like break or... It, it, it does become a bit dissolved, right? Right. It comes into scar tissue and the scar has a bit of structural support, you know? So it's, it's semi, um, it semi-dissolves. Uh-huh. And basically, so this would be the bony, this is with all the, the muscle. Oh, this and, is behind now. All right, we're going inside. This is the gone inside. Uh -huh. So the bladder sits here. Right. And then the urethra peeks through here. This is where the vagina is. Uh -huh. And this is the urethra. So we just put a sling here. And then a bit of the, the, the sling comes through this membranous tissue in the bone. And on this side, it comes out, it pops out. You don't see it, you so, don't quick see question. it, it's all in the way. It, can a guy feel the sling? You know, a little pokey eye? Okay. No. Okay. Okay. No. Just, okay. But you, you can't feel it. He can't feel it. Um, it's essentially, um, you know, it's, 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 it's completely touchless, feelless. You're not aware of that. Um, I'm seeing a comment here. A Kegel device. Can I ask a about a pelvic floor trainer? What is right. that? So there, there are um, pelvic floor trainers, which is like a, 
um, the roach? actual magnetic kind oh. of train, I think it is. And there's one here I know, and I can put you guys in touch with someone that I know that does it. It's, again, for mild symptoms, pre-surgical. And so a Kegel, if you voluntarily do a Kegel, it's a squeeze, release, squeeze, release. And just like going to the gym, the more you work the muscle, the, pump -pump the bigger it gets, the stronger it gets. So the Kegel is the same thing. The more that you work it, the bigger and stronger it gets. Okay. But what the Kegel's machine does, it, it's almost like a, um, a TENS machine. I don't know if you've ever heard of the TENS. Yeah. Like yes. A strain, your muscle is in spasm. The physiotherapist will put it on and it pulsates maybe yeah, 100 yeah. times a second. So it does the same thing. It overworks that muscle at a quicker rate than you can voluntarily do it. Wow. And, um, so, so, so it's, you know, it's, it's a newer technology. Yeah. And it certainly works um, well for women with mild symptoms. Um, so, I, I'm not an expert in that. I don't know that's an actual treatment? You buy no, your, you he, he, he will no. send it to somebody who does that. It's a machine oh, that the other right. doctor has to use, but he doesn't do it. Another doctor, like yeah. he, will, he will recommend the other doctor to you after he does right, it. Right, right, right. But I have to go back to the surgery, right? <laughs> so the surgery is a 20 minute procedure. It's pretty painless. Have we gone under anesthetic for it? A spinal or. Right, yeah, most times it's GA. Sorry, let me just adjust this a bit. Most times it's general anesthesia. Mm -hmm. um, you can be sedated um, or you can get a spinal, as Jody said. Um, there are various different ways of, of anesthesia, but the bottom line is you don't feel anything. Yeah. Painless, you on the same day. Um, so we're back and, at work uh, tomorrow, we're not missing yes. work. Will we be back at work tomorrow? Like if I come in for the procedure yeah. today, I'm back at work Listen, tomorrow. Listen, the worst part about right. surgery is the IV. That's it. Any surgery. The worst part about any surgery is the IV. So nothing is painful like, you know. Okay, pro. Yeah. Just so, little... okay, I'm going back to the surgery now. Okay. So, is this something that is covered under insurance? Like I have a health insurance. Will there be part coverage dependent, I, like dependent on the insurance plan I have? But is it something that is usually covered under insurance? Yes, it depends on your plan, really, right? Um, so the best thing is just have a conversation with the doctor's office. They'll send in the requests to the insurance and see how much of that is going to be covered. Right. But yeah. Um, a large part, most most times, you know, you get coverage for uh, at least part of the surgery, if not the whole thing. And again, it depends on your coverage, your individual coverage. Okay. And before surgery, is there anything that you have to do to prepare for the surgery in terms of like special diet, special eating, or anything like that, or it's 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 just don't not really. Yeah. Not really. If you have one of those conditions we spoke about that has to be. Um, control like you know obesity or or smoking or diabetes it's generally good to control those before any surgery because mm -hmm. it does affect your own healing it can affect the difficulty of the surgery it can affect you know how quickly you recover but um you know the, the surgery is often done at older women who are not in the best of health um especially in their 60s and 70s that's when you see a lot of incontinence coming on um, obesity is also common. So a lot of patients who have the surgery are not in the best of health. And um, anything you can do to improve that is good, but it's not a requirement. You know, yeah. it's, it, it, it places very little stress on your body during surgery. And the anesthesia being put to sleep is probably more more stress. You, as far as going back to work, so you may take a day off because the anesthesia may leave you a bit groggy or nauseous on the next day. So you may want to take a day off from work, but if you've got a desk job, maybe you can work from home or something, no problem. Certainly by day two, um, you should be back at work. So, so hold on, know, wait, Scott is just asking a question. It seems like their house smells like a pee pad. He's asking if guys can have this problem too. He's yeah, asking for a Definitely, friend. yeah, men can have incontinence. It's usual in men after surgery, after radiation, like for prostate cancer, or um, bowel cancer or something, if you had surgery, the pelvis and the nerves have been damaged. Um, those are the more common things that we would see or after radiation for prostate cancer. I know you have trouble holding up the urine. So in those men, we can put a sling, mm -hmm. or we can put something a little more complicated called a sphincter, which is replacing the whole, the whole muscle around the, the base of the penis. 
Mm-hmm. You know, so that's a little more complicated, but men can get things as well. Okay. Um, the, some of the other options are bulking agents, um, where you go in with a scope and you put um, a, a compound in, uh, in the, 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 the flesh or the lining of the urethra, and it just gets thicker and bulkier, so it closes down. But in my opinion, that's best for uh, women who are older and not very good surgical candidates. They want something minimal done. It doesn't tend, tend to last very well when it does work. So the success rate is far lower than a sling. Sling rates are, success rates are as high as 90 to 95%. Oh, wow, okay. okay. So simple surgery, quick recovery, high success rates, um, back at work fairly quickly. Um, that would be my go-to uh, for people who are failed conservative therapy, you know, exercise and, and pelvic floor and, and modifying, you know, life factors and so on. Those have not worked. You need surgery. I would go to the sling number one. Bulking agents are a bit lower down for those who are not really fit for surgery. The success rates with those are probably less than 50-50. Oh. You know, and the, the results don't stay as long. You often have to have a second application in six months or in a year. And um, you can actually have the opposite effect where it's too bulky and then you have trouble passing the urine. Do we oh. need a referral to come and see you or we can just call the office no. and come and see you? Yeah, you can just come. We don't we don't really live in a healthcare system that's referral based. So you can come and see a specialist about um, any any problem and that usually applies to most most physicians and most specialists. And then can you give us as long of a list as possible of all of the things that you see, that you treat, that we can call you to, you know, make an appointment to, um, for you to look at. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, well, it's possible can the month, Jody and Trace. I know you can always have me here in September. You're very kind that we can promote prostate cancer health. So, you know, I, I, um, I'm a specialist in uh, stones and cancers. Um, and minimal invasive surgery. So those are the areas uh, I want to, you know, say, guys, we're watching, and wives and moms and sisters encourage your men to get their prostate checked here. And I'm happy to see if you've got any issues with this concern. So prostate, kidney stones, bladder stones, stones in general, um, erectile dysfunction, um, urologists often see patients for low testosterone issues, women for, um, you know, bladder control issues as we've been talking about. Um, it's, you know, essentially any urological problem that you can think of, um, I'm happy to help. Or, or suggest another specialist who's uh, more versed in that area, if that be so. So just like how the women have gynecologists, the men have a bodyologist. That's right, that's right. <laughs> urologist, <laughs> urologist. <laughs> urologist. <laughs> urologist. <laughs> Half of my patients are women. I'll just throw that out there. It's not just, not just what? Men, urologists, yeah. But uh, I, I'm uh, not I'm sure if we touched on this the last time we spoke, Doc. But I, and I don't know, this is probably why I've heard this. I've heard that for a prostate exam, you can now do a blood test. Well, we've been doing the PSA, the blood test, for, for about 15, 20 years. So it's always okay. been advocated. I, Wait, hold on. Yeah. Uh, what we're saying now is that um, the PSA goes hand in hand with the rectal exam, with the prostate exam. Um, but there's the advent of new technology, the MRI of the prostate, and it's probably making the rectal exam not so um, mandatory. Mm-hmm. I think it's an individual situation because you can still pick up cancer. I picked up a cancer just uh, two weeks ago, a very aggressive cancer in a man whose blood test was normal, the MRI was normal, but I felt something on the prostate exam, and I was adamant that there's something here, we need to look further, and it turned out that he did have an aggressive cancer. Mm-hmm. So those things go hand in hand, but you know what I always say, if the rectal exam is a complete no-no for you, mm-hmm. then let's not say the screening for prostate cancer is off the board. Come get your blood test, let's talk about it, and um, let's get a plan for you. To tell you the truth, Tracy, after and Jody, after I've spoken to a patient, a number of patients who just flat out refuse a prostate exam, 
after I've spoken to them and told them what it's about, I can count on one hand. Yeah. It's, it's really a lot more, um, um, yeah. you know, uh, fear and what other people have told you. It's literally a 10 second examination. It doesn't hurt. If I have any indication this would be a painful exam, usually you've got an inflamed prostate or a urine infection. We treat it and then we come back and do the prostate exam when it's not going to be painful. Yeah. But it's, it's about 10 seconds, and most times when I'm done, men, are, men say the exact same thing. Why not? That was it. That's yeah. all. Yeah. What I heard. At what age but should what men start to do this mean? thing? So sorry? At what age do, should men start to do a prostate so, exam? We advocate 40 in Jamaica because our prostate cancer rates are so high and we have so much aggressive disease. We start earlier. If you're black, African descent, if you had a family history of prostate cancer, two or three people in, can, in, a, in a family um, who've had prostate cancer or died from it, or if you have a genetic predisposition, you start at 40. In Jamaica, um, we, we advocate for 40. In other, in other countries, we can start at 50 where it's not so prevalent and not so aggressive. Mm -hmm. you know? But look, women have been doing um, pap smears, they've been doing mammograms for years, and I, I guarantee you guys, that is way more uncomfortable than a prostate exam. Yeah. It's time for men to buck up and, um, and, and show some ownership for the situation. Make sure they're for your family, that you can continue to, you know, to, 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 to provide for your family yeah. and you're in the best health that you can be. Yeah. You know, Doc, I just want to thank you for coming here onto the show and speaking to us about these things because it is really important for men to take care of themselves. And, you know, a lot of men pride themselves on being the financial provider of the home and they take a lot of time out of their day to make sure that this is a role that they can play. And it is a, it is a very, very stressful and strenuous role that... We appreciate as women and as a family, and in doing so, the men need to take care of their Very health. Sad. Because yes. if you are doing this role so well, it is very important that you don't leave behind your family who you've been taking care of for so long. Men need to take care of their health. It is so important, and I feel that they don't do this because they think it like makes them not as manly or not as strong, you know. But it really and truly yeah. is super important. It is very important. So what we're going to do, Doc, is we're going to, in the description and over on YouTube, we're not leaving out our YouTube family, we're going to drop in the description how you can get in touch with Dr. Ray and how you can um, make your appointment at Advanced um, Card... Advanced. And, and, I don't want to say body Endurology. Urology. 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 <laughs> Art of surgery. Art of surgery, Ripon Road. Art of surgery on oh, Ripon Road. I've been there. Yes. I'm one sure of my many have. surgeries, yes. I passed by all the surgery centers, you know. <laughs> I should have a little pass card. Um, and then also, Doc, again, thank you for bringing some clarity for, you know, us women who sometimes we may have, you know, a little problem here with a laugh or a pee. And, you know, even I was talking to my friend this morning and there's so many issues that just aren't spoken about. And we don't realize that, you know, this is like a common problem and this is a problem that can be fixed. And these are your solutions on how you can fix this and make your quality of life better. So we want to thank you for passing by to show us that, you know, there's hope. You don't have to suffer in silence. No. And it's not just part of being a woman. It's that's not your birthright. Yeah. No. You know? No. Yeah. All right. Thank, thank you, you so doc. much, Dr. Ray. We'll see you soon. Bye. See you later. Yo, I, I actually love having Dr. Ray on the show. He's mm -hmm. like a wealth of knowledge. He's very smart. He's a very smart guy. He's very smart. Dr. Ray, we don't know how to hang up, you know. I don't know how to hang up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the top and you'll see a little X. Top okay. right. Got it. See you. Okay, bye. bye. Mm -hmm. We need to look up how to hang up, you know. We just always expect everybody to hang up for us. I know. It's so lazy. I want to I don't want to work because I didn't want to eat talking about bodyology. Bodyology and cookies? Mm -hmm. And that's the way to go. Oh. But you know what else? You know what else I think is so crazy? Is that we have such amazing medical professionals here in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Like, I can speak to Jamaica because I know a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And I forgot to... It's really boring 
to hear them say what their accreditation is because like we don't know what these things are they're like oh i'm the mjp of the lmnop and we're like we can yeah but, but when they tell you what they actually do you're like oh and doc has done a lot a lot a lot of schooling on this he has done a lot of procedures is the number of procedures that he has done is a lot which is something that you really want because you want somebody who can go in there with their eyes closed because then that means that a they know what to look for b they know how to do it very well and c that probably your scarring is going to be very minimal you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. although there's not really much scarring <laughs> what to, you call to it um experience. Mm -hmm. experience but they say the experience is the teacher of all jobs Alright, let me just show you guys. It my says outfit. experience is the teacher of all man of kind. So this outfit is so cute. I love it. I love it. Imagine you look like, like you're dropping off to school like, hey, am I tired? Is it a pajama? Is it a knockabout? You'll never know. I love it. Oh wait, hold on, we had some questions. And thank you for closet closet clutch for always providing us with such cute, cute, cute knockabouts. They're very fun. And let me see your here's my about. knockabout now. So, you know, I show up, you know, with my hair all done. Come, Ram, time to go, babe. Come, this way. <laughs> I'll stop and grab a coffee, you know. But, Joe, your abs are abbing. My abs are abbing? Yeah. Thanks to Dr. Ray. I joke. <laughs> <laughs> your abs are abbing, though, babe. I started back the gym. Oh, I started one, back one the day, gym. One day, one day. Two I'm days, two days, oh, nice. two days. I'm here doing my thing, you know. Mm. Is my week sliding? My forehead is really big. But I mean, you didn't use any glue, you just put it on. Yeah, so. but I don't need to... Okay. <laughs> I feel like I was made for a large forehead. <laughs> Why? Because this, I like a short forehead, doesn't look good. You know the girl? You, don't you know the girl good. from, um, from New Jersey, and she's a housewife of New Jersey. And, and she's yeah. in the, and she's in the Italian, and she's so loud! And she pulled up the curtain and she has like a thick hairline. Oh my god! <laughs> Shut up, you're right in my ear. <laughs> yes, I just think you're made for a big forehead, Joe. Your big forehead is just you, babe. This is just you. Accept your fate. Accept your fate. Oh, anyway, what else is there to talk about? P. Diddy? No! P. Diddy? Mm -mm. I can't get over it. P. Like, Diddy? I just kind of understand, like, how somebody so I'm so we evil. hung up last week, I still did not understand what you guys were talking about, the hundred, the thousand bottles and the lube and stuff. No, but the seven hundred. They also found dildos. Why do you need so many? Seven hundred and like eighty-four or something like that. So somebody wrote seven hundred and eighty-three just wasn't enough. <laughs> but like, the fact that he does this and then other people follow along and fall into his little trap is what is astounding me. Like, everybody has kept their mouth shut for so long. Like, that's just pretty astounding. Well, I think he has secrets for a lot of people, right? And I do see where there were many people in the music industry that he and his colleagues managed to keep a, a cover on because they were like, okay, we see that this one. Look at Maya, right? Look at um, Amory. Um, there's so many amazing artists out there that were basically like bottled. Bust them. Yeah, you know, and, and, and I feel like, and I said this before, P. Diddy is like the lower level. P. Diddy, he had a lot of clients. Clients? What kind of, what kind of clients are you doing? Like, you know, there were, there were so many people. I think he pushed J.Lo as much as he could push J.Lo, but how can you push somebody as, as far and they can't sing? The lady that was singing for J.Lo, y'all not on TikTok? The girl that was singing for J.Lo was also a Spanish lady. She lived in Jersey. Why? Did, why nah, first of all, first of all, first of all. J.Lo cannot sing. First of all. Oh, God. I can't, I can't. All right, Tracy. Like, how dare you? Don't talk about my artist like that. J.Lo is dare. not your artist. Yes, I love J.Lo. Well, she's going down in a bottle of baby oil. No, she's not. Yes, she is. Jody, J -Lo. You can't tell me that she didn't know what was she going didn't on. She didn't Think you're gonna keep me? Yes, you. I still don't. She said no. She said no. J Lo said no. But she stayed there long enough. She got a little rub down in the baby oil. You can't tell me nothing. I don't think so. That freaky deaky. She said her love don't cost a thing. Well, it costed like she got at least a three hundred baby oil. No. Uh, mm -hmm. And no I love thank it. you. No yep. love it. She definitely knew what's going on. There's nobody. Who was this is me listening to the, the the things and i'm putting together my own conspiracy theory mm -hmm. right allegedly 
Um, there's no way that you could be in that circle, whether it is as a girlfriend, as a lover, as a butler, as an, a driver, as a security guard. There's no way you could be in that inner circle and you don't know what is going on. There's I agree absolutely with that. no Facts. way. Facts. 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 Jenny from the block, she knew exactly. I would agree with Jody straight. Tracy, get out of the dream of who you thought JLo is. She can't sing and so she can't be an artist. The situation I think um, Shane took the rap. I'm taking that one. Really yes, hard Shane took the rap. Yes, you don't remember. And there was that whole shooting in the club. Do you guys. Oh gosh, I can't remember her name. But Shane, Shane, Shine, his name is Shine, right. has come out and been like, yo, I gave that man how many years of my life because he went to jail and all of these things, you know? I just think it's so whack. Like, I just honestly couldn't. I can't, I couldn't. But like, when they call the names, the names of everybody's gonna. And you know, there's some people that are always like, yo, that guy is so cringe. Like, I never liked DJ Khaled. Love mm. is two sweet little kids. Like, I never liked DJ Khaled. So when I heard his name called, I was like, mm, yeah. Mm. Like, I feel like Diddy is like the bottom level. Like, Diddy was at the bottom level hosting the parties, doing all the work. And then the top people would come in and they'd be like, yeah, do this, get this. Who's that over there? Whatever, whatever. Like, Diddy was the gopher. Diddy is down here, right? And let me tell you something. Diddy will never see court. Somebody's either going to knock off Diddy or he's going to knock off himself. He's never going to see court. They're not going to be able to keep him alive. You don't so, think so? No. They're not going to be able to keep him alive. There's no way. Mm. There's no way. Lord, can you imagine this is what I'm living to see? And people but, thought Princess Diana's... Diana's... Sus was a big sus. That's not that wasn't sus. This is sus. The, the, <laughs> Princess Dana. She never go on with nothing, man. No, but when she was unalive. When, yes, when she when she died in that car accident, that was heard around the world. Mm hmm That was a sus at the time. This is a yeah, sus at this, this time. time. Joe, I refuse to believe people so freaky and Sarah, wicked. that is me too. Sarah, that is me too. Like I find it so hard to believe that people are just so freaky and wicked. And then I'm like, damn. Mm -mm. Like and then I so, so I thought about it and I was like okay you know I guess what Diddy feels is this L like listen to me like just just hear me out everybody just hear me out so you know when you go out and you go drinking and you get drunk and then you wake up the next morning and you're like oh my gosh what did I do yesterday and you think about your actions and you're like cringe and so you call up your friends and you're like, oh my gosh, did this happen? Oh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad about it. Cringe. But then you start drinking again so you can like forget about it. And you now have other people drinking with you. So now they can be like, make you feel better about your cringe. Like that's what I think Diddy, Diddy does. Like he, he wakes up the next morning and he thinks about all the bad things that he's done. And he's like, oh, cringe. And then he's like, oh, but well, maybe if I get Jody to do it with me this time, it then won't she, be so yeah, cringe. it won't be so cringe. And she won't think I'm as horrible and then you film me doing cringe stuff so that in case i'm like what you can be like no 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 keep your tail yeah. quiet yeah somebody wrote um very interesting a while ago no jody diddy and jay-z is masonic lodge boys from 19 years okay listen remember i said you know remember i said oprah and jay-z they're going down because they are at the top top those schools that oprah had and they're they're not open right now but those girls were going missing from those schools Nobody, nobody like followed up on these schools. Like it's so strange. Oprah opened all these schools. They're like, oh my God, I love Oprah. She's doing so much, you know, for the black community. And she's gone to Africa and she's doing all this. Oprah's such a great person. And I'm like, nobody's that great. Nobody's that kind. Then Oprah be buying up all this land when, when what we call it, Hawaii was burning down. She's like, no, you can't, you can't empty my pool. You can't use my water. You can't, there was something that Oprah was being mean. This time the whole of Hawaii is burning down and Oprah's like, no. You can't have this. Like everywhere around Oprah burnt down and Oprah, look here, Oprah, o Oprah. But then I don't care how many things she gives away on her show. Oprah is evil. So sad. Diddy messed him up. This happened when you're eager to skill and can't manage your drugs. Jody coming for Oprah. <laughs> I know. Jody going for Oprah. So I just have to eat my cookie. I don't have nothing else to say about that. But I'm, I find that like, you know, you go online and everybody has their opinion and everybody has their little say and whatever. And I mean, I find that out of everybody that has their, you know, their conspiracy theory or their theory or what they're saying, like, all of it is pretty much the same. Yeah. Like everybody, even if somebody comes with a new fact, it's believable because you're like, oh, well, that ties into that, ties mm -hmm. into this. Mm -hmm. Like, 
You're not going to call a random person's name and be like, oh, you know, all these people that you're hearing are connected. You're kind of like, mm. yeah, they were at those parties. They were pictured at yeah. those parties. They were at more than one of those parties. Yeah. Yeah. So, mm. did Oprah be at a Diddy party? We don't know. Wasn't there? Couldn't take the Yeah, there was pic there's, there's a whole heap of pictures of them together. I don't know, you know. I wasn't at any other Diddy parties. I couldn't tell you. No, I remember the time we were invited to one. And I was like, oh my God, let's go, all white party. But you know, she like, oh, I have to bring so and so and so and so and so and so. And I was like, it's for two. Like, well, you know. So we didn't end up going. Imagine, imagine I could have been like, hey, girl, you're at a Diddy party. And I was like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ripped me a new one. Uh, well, the story always come to bump. So Oprah time soon come. R. Kelly P. Diddy said, I know. Low man on the tadpole. I think so. So anyway, guys, changing the subject totally because we could go on for this forever and um, I'd rather be we'll here. slide down a slippery slope with the baby oil and Diddy. I just want to make you guys laugh with this little joke what Stevie did give me. Are we going to laugh and pee? Those are the only acceptable laughs. So anyway, I have this banana hanger thing at the this house. This joke is right? not funny. You don't think it's funny? No. Oh. But anything with Stevie, you think is that like, great? But anyway, you started it, so go ahead with the banana hanger. And it's a monkey, and the bananas hang from the monkey's tail. I think I told this one already, actually. No, I, I think you only told it to me. Oh. And so I usually hang bananas from the monkey's tail. So Stevie's been like, Mommy, where are the bananas? Where are the bananas? But because of the hurricane, we've had like a banana shortage. So she comes with the audience, she's like, Mommy, where are the bananas? I want a banana. And I'm like, babe, there's no bananas. We're having a banana shortage. And she goes, so what? I must eat the monkey? <laughs> Ooh, a <I> drop. <laughs> like, it's so funny. She's three years old. Like, to make that connection of, like, you You think she's so great, eh? Every junker think them pick them, right? So, um, I can't think so, too. This year, this year junker can't, can't think something of her picnic. Uh, hmm? Go ahead, jump, bro. I must tell you the front of my head under some pressure. Under Sarah, the... shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it too. Sarah, shut up! <laughs> What's funny? Thank you. Cheers to 2024. Thank you. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, Sarah. Don't worry. <laughs> Sorry, too bad. So anyway. what's with this rain and wind and stuff of late? Is there another hurricane on the horizon? We were on a tropical, tropical storm. Tropical storm. Mm -hmm. Guys, 10 hours at 10. But I la this and you know what? This is good for your pum pum. Because it's Pineapple Express. Oh, okay. This one is Endless Dreams. And I have to say, it is very fruity. The bouquet on this is very fruity. If you like something that is very fruity, this is the one for you. But I do also have to say that... I like the arm... Um, I like it because it has tequila in there. Tequila is always good. I like to get the job done, you know. Yeah, yeah. I like to get the job done. Tropical I... Storm Helene. Helene. Mm, she's all the way from Europe. Mm. Helene. I wonder if she could bring some prosciutto with me. I have prosciutto in my fridge. You do? I have that? Spanish. When we're in Spanish. You have that still? Yeah, it's in the fridge. Take it. Does Stevie know? No. Oh, good, because you know the last time. Oh, yes, that's right. Thanks, Lady B. Kingston Kitchen is this Saturday. What's the location, Lady B? So you can catch Lady B at Kingston Kitchen. Guys, check out the Pineapple Expert. Let me taste. I hate when I taste the end of your drink. You see, I find there. that you don't hate it because that's what you always do. It's like you purposely wait oh, until wow. the what end of the show. What is that? Endless dream. Lychee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Ooh, little there's little like a... What is that? Mm -hmm. mm, Jasmine. Mm. I actually have to. Oh, and I wanted you get to tell you guys about um, if you have not gone to get your um, tallow, that the other day, Jodie complimented Mummy on her skin. She was like, Nana, your skin yeah, looks so nice. nice. Like she's sitting and just how the sun is shining on her. Yeah. Like, you know, it was like so smooth and whatever. And mm -hmm. she's like, oh, thank you. I've been using my tallow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
So I do not notice a big difference under my eyes with the tallow, like the hydration and stuff. Yeah, okay, so look at my makeup today. So mm -hmm. usually my makeup I have on so much as it usually cracks up. It's cracked yeah. up a little less today. Mm -hmm. So no matter what I put on my face, I always put the tallow under my eyes. So guys, mm -hmm. you can check them out. It's Jamaican um, beef tallow and the company is not tallow time you can check last week but not last week the week before so we have been religiously using the, um our tallow and not only that we here we are a tallow house mm -hmm. levi and remy i rub their legs with tallow and i give them like a little massage every yeah. night because remy remy look like she have monkey pox on her foot yeah she's allergic to mosquito bites and her so legs <clears throat> the tallow is available at lemongrass it is now in devon house in, De in devon house summit summit um it's available at Devon House at Lemongrass. I think this is Drew just at Lemongrass J A mm -hmm. in Devon House. So you can check out the um the the the, the, the beef tallow. But Trace and I have been swearing by you. Mm -hmm. It's so good for your skin. So we don't. But like, you know what? The thing is that it's a long time she asked me to have her on the show, you know. But I had to start using the tallow because I don't like talking about, about things, things that yeah that I don't that you should have had it. Um, Remy use it. I did. She's like Remy. She's like mommy. Come and put on my things down. Mm -hmm. Rub her down. And she's we should like, have done before and like after. That's what we should have done. But she's been using... But she was using an Amazon tallow before we got our nice Jamaican tallow. And she mm -hmm. got the one with the, the flavoring. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah. it available to purchase from Canada? So you mm. can go on to... Uh, it's Tallow Balm. Tallow Balm. At Tallow Balm is their page. And then you can see... And message her. Because she... Um, she was, travels to Canada. She travels to Canada quite a bit. But um, I know if you message her, then she will make um, accommodations for you to ship the tallow balm wherever you need it to go. And Jamaican cows are very special. Oh, here's roast beef as we talk about tallow balm. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Pri, thank you so much. I uh, love how you guys always talk about um, Jamaican products. So that's how we actually started off in COVID. And we said there were so many... If I tell a story again, Trace is going to pull off my wig. Uh, <laughs> I am. I am. But this no. is a Jamaican-made wig. Made mm. in Jamaica, but the, the product was outsourced. <laughs> <laughs> we saw where a lot of Jamaican businesses were um, kind of feeling the effects of COVID. So we, you know, joined up with a lot of small Jamaican businesses and we would wait the fee you know usually influencers have this ridiculous fee and so we waived the fee and we were in here eating all kind of things and getting belly ache with the way we had eat bread pudding and cookie and donut and all Those kind of things and we had a lot of products and you know we just said you know we're gonna hear if you're a jamaican part we're gonna eat you taste you love you and you know talk about you some things not so great but majority of the stuff but when we good. first started we were taking a lot and then i said to jody we have to we have to vet these people because yeah. if people are listening to us and we are talking about them then people are going to buy the product and it has to be a product that's, that's good we, that's good and that we actually like so you know it's kind of been um we get a lot of product and then sometimes we test them and we're just we're like, like no eh, this is eh. mm -hmm. uh, no so and still not fat how because there's a little thing called ballerina tea. Thank me later. Green box. I'm not telling Sarah nothing because she's laugh. It's an all day know. thing though, Sarah. Yeah. Drink Saturday. Out on Sunday. She... Anyway. You haven't had Camilla Kitchen in a while. We actually went to Camilla Kitchen the other day and Sean orders from Camilla, Camilla's Kitchen all the time. But you're right. I think you should um, let her know over on our page and complain. Mm -hmm. Because, whoo. She oh, and she's now. now open for breakfast. Um, she has pancakes made from, I think she said it was chickpea, chickpea flour. flour. And so they're open from 7 a.m. And they serve breakfast all the way and until she has, like, porridge. Yeah. And, uh, you know, um, yeah, she, she's doing her thing. Come on, doing her thing. Come on, good man. Come on, doing her thing. All right, guys, Anyways, we're going to wrap it up yeah. for today because... This wig has to come off now. I have to Actually, do you think I could take my driver's license pictures at home? Because I could just, like... You can do that? I don't know. How well, do they know who takes it? Well, why don't you just have me go down there and take it for you then? Since you want to have Because I want a beautiful here. picture. <laughs> Spray! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Roy. Well, you're going to take my picture now, but on a white wall. I have to get a white wall. I'm not taking anything for you. Fine, I'll just do a selfie. The only thing I'm taking you for is granted. Exactly! Did you not understand you dissed it yourself? I didn't diss you myself. You take me for granted. Yeah. 
All right, everybody, we're going to just uh, like cut this hair so we can... No, 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 no. I'm you, sorry. Stop. You, you, you made my head move and now my wig move. No chips, no. No chips. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us and we will see you next week. Check us in the description. We will give all the information where you can um, see Dr. Ray. Remember, he does not require a um, referral. So if you're feeling a little problem, you want to talk to him and check things out, find out what are your options for um, urine in Constance you're in Constance, you can give him a call. All right, everybody. Um, listen, I am actually doing something tomorrow and... Um, Why, well, Because I would like a nice picture. So when the police stop me, I can be like, and I'm like, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, with that, we are going to go. We are going to go. Love y'all. Bye. Have a great week, everybody. Sleep a great, tight. productive, and a safe week. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Oh, 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 wait. Tara said, look with smiles. <laughs> Bye, nice everybody. <laughs> In constinence. In constitence. Read it, don't say it. Bye, guys. In. Consti. This is for Rem Rem. Hold on.